No one wants war, but it's going to take hard work to make sure we don't end up there by accident. And finally, and this one's not optional, Mr. President, you have to explain your decision and your strategy to the American people. The job of the President of the United States is to keep America safe, to have a coherent long-term strategy, not to make impulsive decisions. And he, Donald Trump has taken us in exactly the opposite direction. Let me put it this way. We need a president who actually has good judgment. If we have learned nothing else from the Middle East in the last 20 years, it's that taking out a bad guy is not a good idea unless you are ready for what comes next. Trump promised to end endless wars. Tragically, his actions now put us on the path to another war. I've, I've said for a long time that going to war with Iran would make the war in Iraq uh, and, and even Afghanistan look like a picnic. It will be far more costly and devastating in American lives and in taxpayer dollars. And I don't believe the American people want to go to war. You've seen the expansion of war powers under presidents now, which I think is undermining our constitutional checks and balances. But the difference now is those war powers lie in the hands of someone who's shown he has impulse control. We see escalation. We see a fraying with our allies. And now, without an authorization of military force, he's sending troops over. And so, of course, I support uh, authorization of military force if he's actually serious about us getting into an escalated conflict. His policy in the Middle East has been utterly incoherent, and I think He's been the w weakest foreign policy president there's been in my lifetime. War with Iran would be catastrophic. The Iran escalation certainly heightens my urgency to get Donald Trump out of the White House. 78% of Americans want nothing to do with a war in Iran.